Sunday Spotlight, Wendy Davis, the single mom state senator from Texas, rocketed into America's conversation this week when her 11-hour filibuster blocked legislation to restrict abortions in Texas. Women ABC's Jeff Zeleny spoke with her in Fort Worth at the dinner theater where she once waited tables. A week ago, no one knew State Senator Wendy Davis outside of Fort Worth. Now you've become a national yes, and Mr. international President. name. Members, I'm rising on the floor today to humbly give voice. I never could have predicted the enthusiasm, the energy, the courage of people in Texas who showed up at the Capitol. Why did he decide to wear your uh, running shoes? And let's take a look at those. They've kind of been rocketing around the, uh, the internet. As, they, they've uh, gained a fame all their own. Wow. At the last minute I was running out of my apartment, I thought maybe I might need something with a little more support. So I grabbed these on the way out the door. These are actually my running shoes. Women need timely access. As the filibuster was going on, you were receiving a lot of support from uh, places uh, and people far away from Texas, uh, you know, from uh, movie stars, from the president. I was completely blown away. I truly think the most profound thing that I received were the, the tweet messages that were coming from everyday Texans and women across the country. The front page of the Fort Worth Star-Telegram is featuring the back and forth with uh, Governor Perry and you. He has made this very personal against you. She's the daughter of a single woman. She was a teenage mother herself. It's just unfortunate that she hasn't learned from her own example. Is that offensive? You know, what's offensive to me is that he's made this very personal to Texans overall. He's awfully fond of, of talking the talk of small government, but this is big government intrusion, and it's very unfortunate and sad that people's personal health and safety are at risk for his political purposes. Do you believe that SB5 will become law? I just refuse to say I believe it will happen. I'm an eternal optimist. I believe in people. I believe in the power of democracy, and I'm going to fight with every fiber I have to keep it from passing. Will you have to filibuster again? I don't know that we'll have that opportunity again, but I can tell you this, we are up for the fight. You're going to put these shoes on again, or? If I have to, I will, most certainly. And it is going to be a big fight. Special session in the Texas legislature begins again tomorrow. Let me bring this to Peggy Noonan. SB5, pretty far-reaching bill, would ban all abortions in the state of Texas after 20 weeks, close yeah. most of the abortion clinics in the state of Texas, and probably going to pass. Uh, I think it will pass in a in a special session, maybe on on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, the aim, the bill does not specifically try to close abortion clinics. It says they have to meet certain medical standards in order to operate. Um, it, it, here's what in the story of of this uh, this young woman. She's so spirited, you know. She has such energy, and she seems to have such commitment. But it seems to me, and I think it seems to many Americans, that what she is speaking for and standing for is something we would recognize as infanticide, late-term abortion, the taking of a little child's life that is really, really serious. Um, and so part of me thinks that she's a fabulous young woman, and part of me thinks, oh, my goodness, we're celebrating something that that even in Europe they call a matter of brutality and barbarism. Well, don't agree with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, and I, th I, I think that Wendy Davis demonstrated unbelievable <laughs> courage and moxie, and she represents the voices of a lot of women, not just in Texas, but across this country. And, you know, I don't really understand what Republicans get out of, um, you know, sort of going at her personally. I mean, Governor Perry's comments about Wendy Davis are, like, way over the top. She has a great personal story to share, but it's hers to share and not and not his. Maybe running for governor of Texas. Well, something. I actually think her story provides her even more credibility for standing up on this issue, having where she came from. I totally disagree with Rick Perry that this story actually gives her more credibility. To me, the thing about this broadly is, and I think it's, it ties in Edward Snowden, Bradley Manning, a lot of different people, which means that individuals standing up 
up strongly and enunciating what their truth is can actually change and bring a spotlight on things important in America. Wendy Davis did it on her own, stood up and put a spotlight on what was going on in Texas. Other people have done it. It does return us to an idea that the power of the individual still matters. 15 seconds. Roe versus Wade was a 7-2 to decision in the Supreme Court. It wasn't close. But for 40 years, the division over it has grown and infected the rest of our politics. What mm. we heard from Perry, what we heard when people called her a terrorist for speaking on the, on the floor of the Texas State Senate, is that un-American divisiveness. Our, the, our genius is that we are not ideologues, we're pragmatists, we do deals, and abortion is something.